What if I told you that it was possible to bulk upload digital products to Etsy? As someone who's made a fair amount of Wi-Fi bread selling digital products on Etsy, I can tell you that having more listings for sale makes you more sales over time. And what I'm about to show you is the only method of bulk creating digital products for Etsy. All of the top selling shops on Etsy post lots of listings regularly. So today, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to automate bulk uploading digital product listings for sale on Etsy. Now, to be able to do this, you're gonna need a pre-list account. So once you sign up, you'll also have to connect it directly to your Etsy shop. Now, I've got it connected to a shop that I used in one of my challenge videos that I grew from complete scratch to about $2,000 of profit in two weeks time. And I've already got it connected and there's just one thing that we have to set up before we can bulk create. This is gonna save you the most amount of time if you're selling a digital product where you create a lot of different listings for something like clip art, pattern downloads, or even digital prints. It doesn't take you as long to make the actual product, which means that you can upload more variations of sort of the same thing. It's all web-based, so there's no downloads or anything. You can use it on any computer. And once you're inside on this listings tab, you're just gonna click on the presets tool. Then we just need to fill most of this page out as if it was a listing. Now you can think of a preset like a listing template that holds all of the details that we're gonna reuse across all of our bulk uploads. So when we create listings with the preset, it'll save all the core details and then we'll just have to swap out a few of the essential details to make each listing unique. But bear with me, this will all start to make sense when we start uploading. So first, we'll just give this preset a name and I'll just call it something like a digital print bulk create. Then I can start filling in all the details that are gonna get reused across every listing. Now for the title, you're typically gonna be creating a new title for every product that you create, but if there's a specific portion of the title that you're gonna reuse across all your listings, you can type it in here. I'll just type in Inkwell Digital Print so that you can get the point. Now the description is a great thing to save in your presets because typically it's gonna be the same across all of your product listings depending on the product you're selling. So I have a nice description ready to go, which I'm just going to paste in, and you can see it right here. Now, the description is also required for Bulk Create, so you can hover your mouse over this Bulk Create badge at the top, and it'll tell you all of the details that you have to fill in in order to use this preset for the Bulk Create feature. Also keep in mind that when you use Prelist, you get access to the listing bulk editor. So if you need to go back and make changes across multiple listings at once, I think up to like 250 listings at a time, you can do that super easily and it's already included. For the tag section, I like adding in just a few tags into the preset, but typically you're gonna add individual tags depending on each listing and you're able to do that in the bulk create feature, which we'll get to in a second. But for now, I've just added three tags that will probably apply to every single listing I create. Now the images section is really cool because if I have things like info cards or testimonials or instructions on how to use the product, I can include those images into specific image slots and every time I create a listing, those images will be preloaded. I don't have to remember where I saved them or to add them back in, they'll always be loaded into this preset. And so for our digital wall art example, these two are gonna make great images. Now for the core details, since I'm selling a digital download product, these are the settings I need. I need to set that I made it, it's a finished product, and it was made this year. If you don't select a year, then you won't be able to use the template for bulk create. Then we can do an Etsy category. So I'll just type in something digital and we'll go with the digital illustration category. Now you can add attributes and other things if you want, but we'll just finish up filling out the template. So I'm gonna add the price of $10, the maximum quantity, and we can kind of leave the rest of these settings as is. You wanna make sure that digital download is selected for the product type. Obviously physical products you can also use presets for, but we're gonna do a digital download for the example today since that's why you're here. And after this is all done, then our preset is pretty much ready to use to bulk create listings. And back up at the top, you can see that the bulk create badge is now set to green and we've selected and added all of the preset details that we need in order to use this preset. Just remember that these presets can be saved to apply these preset details to existing listings, not only just used for the bulk create feature. So just keep that in mind. But from here, I'm just gonna hit save. And if we give it a second to load, you'll see that the preset was created successfully. Now, if I click on the create listing tool, I can select the preset that I just made from the dropdown and I can use it 
to bulk create listings. This is where all the magic happens. You can see that we have a form and there's a few details missing, but all of those preset details are already loaded in. You can see those three tags we added, the portion of the title, our images, price, quantity. And so all we have to do is add the image. If we add more title and tags, then we can do that here. And we have to upload the digital file. I've got a few example listings right here. So we'll just start with this one. And all I have to do is just drag in my image. You can see it loads it in right there. Then I can click and select the file that I wanna upload. And you can see it's uploaded right there. That's the file that the customer is gonna get downloaded when they purchase this listing. And from here, if I have more details for my title, then I can add those in. If I have, if I have tags that I wanna use for this listing, then I can paste those in as well. And this listing is pretty much done. Now what I can do is I can click this add another listings button and it'll bring up another form pre-filled with all those details as well. And I can just create the next listing. So all I have to do is drag in my image, I can paste in my title if I have one. I'll select the digital file to upload. And then of course, I'll paste in my tags as well, just so I can make sure that this listing ranks. And don't worry, there is an AI feature for writing out the title and tags that's coming out soon. It's just not quite ready yet. But once that's out, this is gonna be even faster. I'll do this once more, just so you can see how quick it can really be when you're bulk uploading your digital products. I'll just drag in the image, upload the file, change out the title and the tags, and you're done. Everything else that we pre-saved in the template is already ready for us to use. Just like that, by dragging in my images, I was able to create three listings. So all you have to do is hit create as draft, and it's going to create these listings and set them as drafts in your Etsy shop. You can see it's starting to create the listings right now. From there, you can click and drag to select these listings and you could use the quick edit to change them to active if you are ready to actually publish them for sale. Let's go ahead and quickly do another example. So here I'm gonna do a clip art preset. I already pasted in my product description and this time I'm just gonna do a terms of service and a disclaimer that this obviously is a digital product. So they're not gonna get any physical products with it. I'm gonna set it to uh, made in 2020 to 2025. And then I'm going to change the category to a digital product. We'll set the price for this one at $5 with the maximum quantity, of course, a digital download. And we've created another preset ready to go. So now when I select this new preset that I just created, now I just repeat the exact same steps as before. So I'm gonna drag in my watercolor download. This time I'm obviously doing a clip art. I can paste in my title. I will select my watercolor shells download so that the customer gets the right files. And then I'll add in all of my tags for this listing. Obviously, if you have multiple images for each product listing you're creating, you can just drag those in as well. But for this example, all I need to do is drag in my image, upload my file and change out the title and tags. Prelist handles all of the other details that I'm reusing on every single listing. This can work just as well for something like a sticker listing where you just have to upload the image, upload your file, change out your title and your tags, and then move on to the next. Also keep in mind if the products you're uploading have a lot of similar titles and tags, it makes it even easier because you're just reusing those keywords across all of your listings. Now, a little bit of a workflow hack before the AI title and tag generator comes out. If you're using a tool like Listing View, you can search up the database for the type of product you're selling, and it's gonna show you a list of the top selling products matching those keywords. What this lets you do is analyze that product so that you can do something like grab the tags from that listing, so that you can quickly paste them in to use in your own listing. And just like that, with only a couple minutes of work, we're able to create a bunch of digital product listings. If you ever need to, you can go back in and use the bulk editor to make changes to those listings before you finally publish them for sale. I'll try and leave a link to some pre-list deals right below the subscribe button in the description. But yeah, I just wanted to share this with you because I thought it was cool and hopefully it saves you a lot of time creating digital listings. I hope this was helpful and as always, 